Alright guys, what's up? Welcome to my messy paint table. All you merchants out there. This time, I'm actually uh, filming right after the other video and I just used some extra plastic bag that I have laying around to cover up the spots that has paint on it so that I can try to use the most of the resources that I have. Plus I don't want to throw away the other piece yet. but. That's beside the point. I'm also going to show you another method I do, but I'm going to first put this on there, and then I'm going to spread it around. I'm going to use this tool for this entire process, I believe, should. So I'm going to pour this on the canvas a little bit. It's pretty suck actually. Oh. It's almost out, so I don't really want to clean that up to get it to stop from sticking, but and it doesn't really matter if like any of that red paint gets on the bottom of this canvas as long as it's not on the top of it, you know. That's all that really matters. Uh, this this tool that I'm using is so cheap. It's like. 33 cents really because it came in a three pack for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is like my best friend. You can get really cool glass stuff there sometimes too. And I get some cool letter beads. I don't buy paint there though. I mean you can tell that I am using like Walmart's paint. Alright, so I like to put this stuff on because it kind of helps to make it a little bit more spreadable. It's almost like a thing that I would Thing to use when pouring so it doesn't crack, but I think that the one time I used it, it still cracked. I don't have too much of it, so I just use it for this. And it's fine. It's whatever. Life turns out fine. And I'm kind of wanting to do an earthy, earthy thing going on here. You can see by the paint colors I'm going to use. And of course I'm going to have the brown, green, and blue. So. Another paint thing. Pop it. I don't want that falling in anyway. I'm not really sure how I want to run, so I figured they would just kind of blend together a little bit to create a, a little mixture. And this is the darker paint that I have. I'm not really sure if I want it higher or lower either, so I might do instead of like trying to mix it, keep some of it, just keep some of the color lower, keep some of it higher. You just have like sections where the lighter green is the lower color, sections where it's the higher color. You know? Bro. I think this one is going to hopefully turn into a micro graduation present. We will see. I mean, of course, I've got something on the front of it. I want an angel. Also, guys, like, I'm not really, like, some of these paintings, of course, I'm painting for myself, but I'm painting with the intent of selling a lot of these, and some, and some of them are gifts, of course, but I don't really keep most of my paintings, and, like, my mindset on making them is, like, yeah, I might not like the colors or how it turned out, but someone out there will, and that, it, it's kind of helps me hate my paintings less, you know? So then I just kind of get that brown going on in there, you know? Get it up in my green a little bit, just a little bit right in there. Get that blended a little bit brown, a little bit green before we clean this off. Okay. Wipe that. Oh, shoot. You gotta remind yourself, you gotta wipe it off onto the Walmart side so that you can keep that paint. Ooh, that was not good. Sometimes it would be that way. Sometimes it would be that way. Maybe we're just not gonna have too much paint. Like Alright. This way kind of sucks, honestly, because I don't do it too often, but that's fine. I feel like you kind of want to bring the blue down a lot because, honestly, your, your flora or your the, the green in the scene probably doesn't go that high, you know? Like, there, there could be trees and stuff, but I doubt that there's this much, you know? That's fine. I probably have to go in with some more green, or sorry, not green, more brown. That's fine, I did it again. That is going to be too wet. Oops. No, wait. Sometimes you make decisions that you regret, but that's okay. Because you can continue to, one, make decision, more decisions you regret, or end up making a better decision later on. Kind of a toss-up on what will happen. 
sometimes. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do for music for these videos, but it really sucks because I've been wanting to play music and I want to listen to music while I'm playing stuff, but, you know, I'm not trying to... I'm trying to have videos that, that don't have to deal with copyright stuff, you know? You know what I'm saying? I'll probably add a little bit of everything again, back on here. I don't want to darken up this brown here. Lighter stuff, so I don't want to cover it. You know, you gotta kind of get a good balance going on. So I don't know. And then I don't want to cover that blue spot. Get a little bit green in there so I can blend it with the brown maybe a little bit more. I know that this is a lot of paint on this hand basin. It takes a little bit to dry it, but I don't know. Sometimes you get good paintings of it. And eventually I'll come up with a better method to get a uh, similar painting with, without wasting so much. But I do try. I try. I'm not careful. I'll try. In different ways, of course, to do this. Preserve my paints. Wasteless. Because it's not cheap. Especially canvases. See, sometimes I hit the canvas and I accidentally and then it kind of pulls up paint rather than doing what I want it to do, you know? And that's annoying. I'm trying to mix that green brown up there, but it's not really what works out in my favor. I'm definitely going to put more green in there. But that's kind of how I was able to get the green and brown to blend. I pulled more of the brown up. And that's okay, it happens. You know? You live with what you get sometimes. Sometimes things turn out a lot better than you expect. You're like, oh, this is gonna be poop. <clears throat> well, then it's a little bit better. It's not too bad so far. Oof. Make sure I'm showing you. You like that? This is not quite a thing, you know. I'm sorry if I'm uh, not showing you. Like, I'm not really watching what I'm recording. It's probably not gonna get, but I'll get a better angle if it's on the side a little bit. So much paint and I just don't come on. I just want to cover up that brown, you know, that brown that we pulled up. Nice. Not too bad, not too bad. I don't want to go through. Come on. Probably not a good idea, but that's okay. Well, I'm not really enjoying that, that harsh, this line right here, I kind of want that to be a little less, you know, a little bit more. Maybe I'll just give it some more texture, you know, give some, some texture going on in here. Probably some more of that darker green too, kind of lost a lot of that. That's okay, I'm going to put a little bit over here, and a little bit like right there. Not too much, comparatively. The last time that we went through the other day. I mean, I guess like the table looks pretty nice. I'm going to think the leftover paint looks cooler than what it looks like actually on the canvas, which is kind of annoying, but. Okay, well, that's nice and cleared up. Now we got to work on the sky. You know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna work on the sky. Work on the sky. I need more blue. I need more blue. Maybe. Ooh. I actually kind of like that a lot. So far, I think it looks pretty good. I do want to make it a little bit brighter, right at the top. Or a little bit bluer at the top, but that's okay. You can uh, come up with this. I'm gonna go over the top of it. Sorry, I'm probably cutting off your view. Just add some up there. I'm gonna work it in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm pretty much done with this. I like the texture of the green that I got going on. The the brown down there is a little wavy. The green is definitely more like bubbly and blotchy, and the sky is definitely more wavy. I think that helps with like picturing what what we're supposed to be looking at, you know. So I'm gonna put, go put it over to dry. And you're gonna watch me scrape some paint. Oh, that texture does stay though, but you never know. It might flatten out a little bit to dry. But the way the paint sets, it should still look so it should look textured even if it's not.
I wish I would show you. Please? Oh. There we go. I'm gonna be there. 